Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be, well, I haven't officially decided yet. Either it's going to be a shop with me, like take you guys around and do some fall shopping and later show you guys a haul, or it's going to be that plus a decorating video. I haven't decided. It depends on how much footage I'm able to get. Um, but I am just about to head into Target. There's somebody right next to me, so if I look like I'm being suspicious or weird. Even though I have filmed myself and have been filming videos for a decade now, which is unbelievable in itself, but I still get very uncomfortable when I'm around other people because I don't know if they're either staring at me or some people just probably don't even want to be filmed. So I have to be careful even when I'm filming out in public. Anytime I'm out in public and I'm filming, I'm always super cautious. So I don't want them to see that I'm just holding a camera and talking to myself, which there's nothing wrong with that. I also don't want people to stare at me either. Anyways, like I said, I'm headed into Target. I just kind of want to see what they have come out with for fall. So I'm browsing and probably will do a little bit of shopping. I am good on fall decoration. I need to stay away from the pillows. 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 If I see a cute fall pillow, it is going to tempt me, but I just kind of see what I want to see the different things that they have. If there's there's a couple things that I have in mind that I want to decorate or put into our house for the fall. But other than that, not going too crazy. I already pulled out the fall decorations. Frank got it out of storage. I'm ready to put all my spring decorations up. It is only August the 26th, but we are so close to September, you guys. So close. And I can't hold out any longer. I couldn't even hold out any longer with the fall drinks. So I went by Dunkin' because Starbucks has not come out with them yet. I got the pumpkin cream cold brew. It is good, not as good as the Starbucks one. That one's my favorite. But I do think if I would have gotten the pumpkin swirl with it, it would have been 10 times better. I'm still gonna drink it because it's still good. But I do wish that I would have gotten that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, go inside, and take you along and shop with me. So the first thing that I went to was the hearth and hand line because I love their decorations. This is definitely up my alley on how I like to decorate our house. So I was just looking around at all the different things and I noticed these tiny glass candles. I am a sucker for candles. I'm a sucker for a lot of things at Target, okay? But I am definitely a sucker for some good fall smelling candles. And then I saw that they had these bigger ones that I could not pass up. So I did get one of these. I thought it was so beautiful with the amber glass and they had actually a lot of stuff. I was surprised. Usually my target is very picked over, but I think they just put everything out, but they had a lot of cute stuff. I was looking at these stems and I ended up getting not these, but you guys will see here in a second, which ones I did get, but I thought that these were really pretty and it would look really good in a vase. And then I came across these wreaths, which I, I was indecisive on which one to get. I'm also a sucker for Reese and I needed a new one for the front door. And I even like to have Frank's input with the decorating, even though he doesn't care how I decorate and he always likes everything that I pick out for the most part but I still wanted to get his opinion on them. So I did FaceTime him in the middle of Target to see which one he likes. Um, but like I said, Target just had so much cute stuff this year. I'm telling you guys, I was a little shocked because like I said, usually mine is picked over or it's like the same decorations from last year, but they had a lot of variety of new things. So if you guys like Target and you need some fall decorations, I definitely recommend checking them out because they have a lot of cute stuff. I even was looking at all the table stuff, uh, like the placemats and runners, things like that. And Hearth and Hands had some really cute fall stuff as well. And oh yes, the pillows, you guys. Pillows are so tempting, but your girl, I got a little self-control, so I know when not to buy something. I It was tempting, because these are really cute. I really especially love the ombre. I was pointing to one that I already had, but I love that ombre one that I showed you guys, and then this checkered one I thought was really cute as well, but didn't get any pillows. I did check out the dollar spot, and they had brought out some fall stuff as well and Halloween things. Um, again, I was so shocked that it was fully stocked. They must have just put everything out. I did grab that one pumpkin. I think it was three dollars, and I just checked out the Halloween stuff. And All right, that was so you it. guys would be very proud of me because I did not 
get any pillows. I was tempted. I was looking at them. There was actually one pumpkin one that I meant to show you guys and I forgot, but I was like, nope, not doing it not doing it so this is everything that i got i did get a few fall items but i figured since i got other stuff as well even though i know it's going to be a fall haul and decorating video still going to go ahead and show you guys so i ended up getting these bundles i'm not even really sure what to call them oh pompous is that how you say that pampas pompous i don't know how you pronounce them but I have seen a lot of people decorating with these. So I figured since Target, the first time I've ever seen Target carry them, I went ahead and got a bundle of them. And then this is the wreath that I ended up going with. I'm deciding if I should put this one on the front door. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this one in the front door and then the one that I've had for a few years, I'm gonna put on the pantry door where that pink one is. Uh, so this is the one I ultimately went with. This one was $10 cheaper. And then I did get the big candle. It was so tempting. I love the glass on it. This is a scent that I got, birch and amber, and it smells amazing. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to put it on the dining room table. I think that's what I'm gonna do with it. I have not 100% decided yet. And then I got this pumpkin in the dollar spot. And then I got these wooden bookends to go on our dresser. I've been getting into reading again. I have been obsessed and addicted like everybody else to the Colleen Hoover books, which you guys will see right here. And I've started to collect them and I've had some books that I've kind of kept and collected over years. So I'm gonna break out my collection, very small collection, and then add those books and put it on our dresser. And then Fletcher currently is very congested. He's snotty nose, coughing, everything, you name it. So I got him some boogie wipes and some saline spray drops. Frank's putting him down for a nap now if you guys hear any noise in the back. And then I got these vapor drops to go in his diffuser or you can even put them in the bath as well by Frida Baby. So I'm actually gonna go ahead really quick, quick intermission, go and put some in his diffuser right now. I also got this candle as well. I thought this was so cute. I, for some reason, I'm like becoming a sucker for glass candles. It has a little pumpkin top on it and I love the color. The scent is pear and honey crisp. So either I'm gonna put that upstairs on our dresser or I'm gonna put it over here. And then I did get a couple new hand towels for our master bathroom. So I just got two of those. And then I got a thermos for Aria and Nolan so that they can take some hot lunches and some hot foods to school. And it's good for cold as well, but it says nine hours hot, 14 hours cold. I wanted to get a bigger size one for her because the one that she took this morning, I noticed she couldn't fit that much stuff in. It says it includes a collapsible stainless steel spoon. So I got her the pink one and then Nolan the black one. And then I did get a couple new cups for the girls. So I got this one for Harlow. These are one of our favorite cups, the Thermos brand. And then I got this butterfly one for Scarlet. Let me just show you guys our collection here. So we have two cups that we really, really like. So you guys see the Thermos one, which I'm gonna go through because some of them are, like the stuff has started to come off of them and they're kind of messed up. So that's why I got some new ones, but we also really like these. They are the Simple Modern cups and we really, really like these too. There's so many different patterns, but you, they also have a huge selection with Disney themes. So I actually got these were the ones that we got for the kids when we went to Disney, but you guys can see better Cinderella, Rapunzel, all kinds of, there's a Paw Patrol one, that one's Fletcher. When you have a lot of kids, you have a lot of cups. I had to stock up on paper towels. We were completely out, just a normal, boring household item. And then I did get a new runner for this table. And because this table is so, so long, I always have a hard time finding runners. Like the traditional ones do not fit this table. So always make sure I get the extended length. And I really like these because they're machine washable, so I can wash them anytime the kids do actually get some stuff on them. I really like the colors and the stripes on it. Got some super glue, we needed some super glue for something. And then Harlow needed some new socks. Her feet grew out of nowhere, so I didn't think I'd have to get new socks for school. She's complaining that they are too small and they keep sliding down. So I got her the four to five T for shoe sizes eight through 11, which I, if I can remember correctly, she's like a nine or a 10 somewhere around there. So got her those. And then I saw that our Target stocked up again on Colleen Hoover's books. When I went there last time, they only had two of her books, which I grabbed, but I don't have these and I have not read these yet. So I got November 9, 
all your perfects. It ends with us, hopeless, and maybe someday. And then I did get the kids some little bites. Guys, <laughs> these, I swear to gosh, our household is consumed by little bites. But they came out with a limited edition pumpkin muffins. I actually got it at Publix a couple weeks ago, and the kids love them. So I got another pack, and then also a chocolate chip muffin. And then I got some, or two Alani new energy drinks. I tried about every single flavor but the blue slush. I don't know if it's a new one it could be a new one i've tried the cherry slush which i really like so i only got a couple because i didn't know if i'd like it or not but i think that's everything that i got from target so now the next thing that i'm gonna do for this video because i decided i'm just gonna make one big video is i'm going to start decorating start taking all the fall decorations down and start getting ready for did i say fall or spring i think i meant to say spring all the spring decorations down and start decorating for the fall all right guys so I decided we're gonna go ahead and decorate in this video as well. So we got our boxes out of storage, our fall box, and then our spring box. So the first thing I wanna do is take all of the spring stuff out or take it down, like the flowers, vases, things like that that I have around the house. I'm gonna put it in here and then we'll get to the good part, which I'm so excited about. say minus my Christmas decorations I'm able to fit my holiday or not my holiday my season seasonal boxes into one box which is pretty impressive but I think after buying all of the stuff recently that I did from Target I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all my fall decorations in one box anymore like I said the Christmas boxes are totally different I have like eight boxes full of Christmas stuff but anyways I take out and I always keep stuff in the same box because I like to rotate them over the years like whatever I'm keeping so that way I have a little variety but I'm not always buying new decorations because that's just not realistic for me um, so I'll alternate and I'll go ahead and take out the ones that I do want to decorate with and also I was trying to figure out do I want to keep my old wreath on the front or on the door or do I want to put the new one there I was trying to decide which one I like better because whichever one wasn't gonna go on the front door I was gonna put on our pantry door but I ended up doing or putting up the new one that I got I really liked it especially with the little pumpkin sign I don't know if Target still sells that anymore I got it a few years back Back, but it's one of my favorite wreath hangers. I love it. That's why I continue to use it every single year and the Pantry wreath the old wreath that was on the front door looked perfect there I always have a hook on the pantry door because I like to keep a wreath there also a little hack and tip for you guys that if you struggle like I always have with trying to keep your stems together in one place get some styrofoam or they even have like stuff at like Hobby Lobby or craft stores that you can stick the ends of your fake flowers and stems in and it will just keep it better in place and the arrangement will just look 10 times better. Or sometimes I'll even put paper towels as long as the vase isn't clear at the bottom and that kind of helps it stick better as well in the vase and it's not constantly sliding around so just wanted to share that little tip with you guys and let me know if you guys are like me in the sense that I will just go ahead and put decorations wherever I think it looks the best and then most of the time or maybe not even most of the time and half the time I change my mind so I'm constantly moving decorations around switching them up um, but I do want to say side note 
this Pampas, Pampas, however you say it, that, I think it's, it has to be real. I, it has to be. I think it is because that stuff was shedding. Like, <laughs> another side note. Putting it down inside a duvet is probably one of the hands down the hardest thing to do. But that thing was shedding like crazy. I was even thinking about getting some for our wedding. I'm like, mm, I don't even know now because this stuff is messy. But it's cute. I love it. I like how it has like this boho look to it. I even think I would even use it for spring decorations as well. Um, but now moving on to decorating the dining room table. I always have the hardest time decorating the dining room table because, you know, it's where our family is a lot of the times. You know, we have most of our meals here and the kids love to mess with stuff. And as soon as I lit this candle or put the candle, because that's originally what I, where I was going to put it, I'm like, mm, I don't think that's a good idea because I think the kids are going to mess with it. But just to take a little quick break from decorating, I wanted to share with you guys this recipe. It is a perfect fall recipe. It is chicken sweet potato soup, and it's very easy to make. It's very delicious. Oops, sorry guys, I just moved the microphone, and I wanted to show you guys really quickly how to make it. I'll put the exact measurements and ingredients down below, but all you'll need is boneless, skinless, chicken breast or thighs, quinoa, diced sweet potatoes, black beans, fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm just using regular because the kids are, I didn't want, I didn't know if they would like the spice or not. One teaspoon of minced garlic, chili, chili seasoning mix, chicken broth, and the toppings. You guys can use anything like tortilla strips, sharp cheddar cheese, fresh lime, stuff like that. But first thing you're going to do is prep your sweet potatoes. I use two sweet potatoes, just dice them up into cubes. And then you're going to add your chicken to the crock pot. I just lined it with a little bit of spray coconut oil. Go ahead and rinse your quinoa. Um, the direction said this because if you don't, it can get kind of slimy. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just doing what the direction said. So I rinsed that, added my sweet potatoes, and then added the rinsed black beans, your undrained diced tomatoes, minced garlic, the chili packy. Oh my God, I can't even talk right now. Packet of seasoning. I was trying to keep up with my clips and I got tongue tied, but basically you're just going to add all of your ingredients to the crock pot. Like I said, directions and everything will be down below. All right guys, so I just got all of the fall decorating. We're now on day two and I just finished all the final touches. And instead of doing some B-roll, which I might still do, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour and show you guys all of the fall decorations. Starting out with the entryway, you guys saw I decided to put this wreath on the front door with my Hello Pumpkin holder. I even brought out my mat featuring the melted candle over there. <laughs> but my Halloween mat, because I don't have a, I don't think I have a fall one. So I just went ahead and brought this one out. It just says, hey boo, but that's the wreath that we are going for. All right, so moving on to the entryway, I just added a few things over here. You guys can see the basket's gone, but I was like so conflicted on the placement of everything just because we have this big vase. You guys saw I did the arrangements on that. And then this lamp over here, but I'm almost tempted, like should I move this over here? I have like a little woven pumpkin, this pear that I've also had forever and then I have this succulent arrangement over here with this big tray where we put all of our keys I'm tempted to move this and get like an actual key holder because I feel like it would look better and it wouldn't look as cluttered so I'm still a little indecisive with the entryway but this is what we're rocking with right now so moving on into the living room you guys I hope you're proud of me for not getting any new pillows I kept all the same pillows that I got last year so we have these big oversized ones like this red rust color and I kept my leather ones out. I've had this out all spring and summer and I feel like it still looks great with the fall pillows and decorations. So I have the other one over there and then these pillows which all of them are from Target minus the leather one. I got those covers on Amazon and then I brought out this blanket that I got at Target a few years back. I've had it for a while now but I brought it back just to give it a more cozy look. So that's all we have going on on the couch. I'm even tempted to add some more pillows to make it even look more cozier. And then I did decide to put this candle. I saw that I put it on the dining room. I just felt like it didn't, it didn't look right there. So I found the perfect place for it over here on the shelf. Tell me I'm not the only one who does this where I'm just so indecisive about my decoration. So I'll put it in one place and then I realize I don't like it there and then I will move it somewhere totally different. So 
that's what I did with this floral arrangement. I had put it on Frank's nightstand. Didn't like it there. So now it's final place is on the fireplace and then just added this gold pumpkin. I've had this also for years, for a really long time. I think I got it at Target. I also added this felt pumpkin here. And then I've always had these candles right here. And then I added this tea light candle holder pumpkin. Uh, I think it's from Bath and Body Works. Also, I've had this forever, five or six years I've had this. So um, I just put a battery tea light candle in there. And then I also have, I'm not, I don't know if I'm able to show you guys, this little golden fox up there. So I added a few things on the shelf and then something new that I added in here is this basket holder. Previously underneath the entryway table, but I feel like it looks a lot better in here. And it's also more fitting too because then we could just get the blankets and then I just draped this one for an even more cozier look. I just kind of threw it in there and um, draped it over the side. That is gonna stay there. I feel like it looks better compared to underneath the entryway. But yeah, that is the living room. I wanna get a round coffee table eventually in here as well. So moving on into the kitchen, you guys saw the crock pot soup recipe I made, so that's going over there. And then I showed you guys the fall, the one that's been on our front door for I think two or three years now. It's found a new spot over here by the pantry and I think it looks great in here as well. And then I have this little cake holder that I just put some decorations on. So, oh, I put my, took my rings off when I was making that soup, so I'll put those on really quick. But over here, I just have this wooden tassel. I think this cake holder is from Anthropology, and I added a pumpkin on here. Again, something I've had for years, so long. And then I just have like this little vase right here with little flowers that the kids will pick. And this candle over here that the kids got me for my birthday. And I love this like little wooden top, this candle top. And I think they got that from Walmart. But I also have a wild flower over here. I think caramel pumpkin is in here right now, which it smells heavenly. It smells so good. So I also have that right here. Aria put that one there for me. So I love how the new runner looks on this table i think it looks so good with all the different colors and what i ultimately decided to do was this you guys saw i put on the fireplace i brought it over here i brought a tray out and i think it looks 10 times better and i just put some pumpkins around here i think i got this one last year from target you guys saw i got this one from the dollar spot and then i am going to go to bath and body works eventually and get a couple fall candles so i put this leaf candle holder here but for now, I just put one of my Wake Heart candles in here. I'm just gonna use that one up first. That's everything that I put on the dining room. I just think it looks so much better than just having the one candle on there with the pumpkins. The tray just ties it in too. And then over here on this little console table that we have in the dining room, this is kind of like such an awkward spot. I didn't wanna leave this wall blank. So we've had this mirror for here for a while and then this table as well, but I like never know how to decorate it so all i did was i just added some black candles which i already spilled some wax you guys can see um, but i added some black candles in these candle holders these gold ones this one and the one on the fireplace are both from target and then this vase with floral arrangements is also from target so i had to get something kind of high enough to balance it but i almost feel like something small could still go over there or there, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but that's what I have on this table. And then I got this rug last year. I originally had it in the kitchen, but since I have that runner, I decided to put it in front of the door and found a little spot for it over here. All right guys, so I didn't do much in our room. You guys saw I put the pompas or I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I put that in this vase along with this candle book that I'm currently reading right now and then I did keep that floral arrangement over there and then I put this one back over here and I'm also thinking about getting some fall pillows to go in our bed but I put this one over here I still feel like it fits in with the rest of the stuff and the decorations in the room you guys know already I like to do my decorations very subtle not too much not too little just enough um, or maybe some people would think it's too little I don't know but it's just the perfect amount 
that I like in our house. All right guys, so that is going to be it for the shop with me fall haul and decorating video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it got you in the mood for fall. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys decorated for fall? Or if you already have, when did you start decorating? Because I've seen a lot of people start decorating like mid August too, which is fine. I'm totally down for it. Do whatever you wanna do. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.